COMMITTEE HEARING HELD IN FRANKFORT THIS MORNING IS AIMED AT TRYING TO HELP RETIREES IN THE STATE. THE PROPOSED KENTUCKY RETIREMENT ACCOUNT BILL WOULD CREATE A RETIREMENT SAVINGS PLAN FOR ALL KENTUCKIANS WHO LACK ACCESS TO A PLAN AT THEIR WORKPLACE. IT COULD BENEFIT NEARLY 800,000 KENTUCKY WORKERS. WKYT'S VICTOR POINTE IS IN FRANKFORT WITH REACTION TO THAT. VICTOR? TODAY'S MEETING WAS AN INFORMATIONAL ONE. THERE WAS NO VOTE ON THIS BILL. It would establish the Kentucky Retirement Account, which would allow private employers to offer a state-run plan to their employees for saving for retirement. State Treasurer Todd Hollenbach is one of the people behind House Bill 261, along with State Representative Martha Jane King. It would put a system in place that gives private employees access to a retirement system overseen by the state but managed by a private retirement planning group. The treasurer said it was needed because almost 800,000 people in Kentucky work at jobs with no retirement savings opportunity. The plan would be voluntary. Employers could opt out. He said it wouldn't have any fiscal impact on the state and would give people who wouldn't otherwise plan for retirement the ability to do so. It's a win-win for the uh, employees who would like to have convenient, easy access to retirement options, savings options. It's a win for the taxpayers of Kentucky who will end up shouldering the burden of, of underfunding for personal retirement savings if we don't do something about it. There was some opposition to the plan. The people who spoke against it basically said it was unnecessary because private companies already offer the same service, so there was no need for the state to get involved. In Frankfurt, Victor Puente, WKYT. Victor, thank you very much. And Treasurer Hollenbeck said approximately 20% of Kentuckians between the ages of 55 and 64 have no retirement savings.